Welcome back to the Death Toll Garage. Uh, so, we're, we're going to work on our coilover mounts today on, on this episode. And you can see I have this thing articulated like crazy right now. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of, I've been kind of playing with it. Uh, so I can figure out exactly how far above uh, a certain point in there we need to make our humps. Something that I can identify from down here and then, and then get up top. Uh, and identify it from up top so that we can get... Uh, going uh, and you always want to leave a little bit extra. You don't ever want to bottom out your your coil over uh, All the way so I mean leave yourself a, a good good amount uh, Especially in our situation because I don't think uh, We'll actually be able to articulate this thing or, or, or I shouldn't say articulate it But we won't be able to let the, the axle fall down uh, as far as I actually have it So it's not gonna hurt anything to have the coil over up a little farther uh, Even though it'll never actually reach that point with the bump stops and stuff uh, so what I did is I just put a block in between uh, the the on on this side on the compression side. I'll show you on this side so you can see it. Um, but I just put a block uh, in between uh, our tube for our coilover uh, and the pad. That's two and a half inches because that's what a fully co collapsed uh, bump stop is. Uh, at least these ones. Uh, so and then I just kind of had to play with it, uh, measuring. So I just pull this side up and put, drop that side down and I pull it up until our block's hitting like right in the middle. Um, and, and, and then I just keep measuring uh, both sides, a fully extended one and a fully retracted one, uh, guess, uh, with guessing on how much higher than the point I'm, I'm identifying here, which is right at the shock mount with the hole where the shock mounted. Uh, that's gonna be my reference point on both sides. Uh, so I'm just measuring from that down uh, and then taking off uh, my ear for, from the axle tube to the center of the ear, um, I'm just I just keep measuring and find finding exactly where worst case scenario would be uh, as far as like all the way extended on one side and all the way up on the other. And so what I ended up getting getting to is four four inches. Like if if I go up from that where the factory shock mount was. If I go up four inches beyond that, that's the center line of my uh, top of the coilover, uh, that's going to make it so it'll sit just how you see it here uh, in a fully extended and fully retracted state. Um, we're going to have limit straps on it, so we, and I don't think we're going to let it drop all the way that far because I think, we're, I think we would wipe our U-joint out if we did. Uh, you know, say you hit a jump while you're while you're in four wheel drive, and and the axle comes all the way down. You don't want to pitch your U joint out, uh, so you're going to limit it before it gets to that point. Uh, I don't know how far we'll get to go once we get our drive line. I really should have ordered that thing. Uh, once we get our drive line, we'll know exactly where we need to limit it. But that that's irrelevant right now. We're just going to say that we can limit it all the way uh, down, and we're going to build everything accordingly. So I'm going to leave an inch high. I'm going to leave an inch of inch of coil over left. Uh, with this one fully extended, uh, I'm going to leave an inch inch of it left with this one fully collapsed. So uh, just in case you, you were to like completely like destroy our bump stop or something, uh, we don't we don't also destroy our uh, our coilover. So that that's pretty much where I'm at. So I already know I want to go four inches above to the center, not not to the bottom of our of our truss thing that we're going to make, uh, but to the center of the ears that are going to be on it. Uh, we want to go four inches above where the shock mounts, which is already kind of high in there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and level the axle out so we're not having it sit in this funky position. Uh, and I'm going to drop the car down, uh, and then we're going to look at how, how we're going to go about getting to that point uh, up top. Uh, we're going to have to shave off all, all the, all the, uh, the factory suspension parts that are there and, and probably open up the hole that's, uh, that's up there uh, that the, the shock used to pass through because that's not going to be, it's not a very big hole, so we'll probably have to open that up. Uh, but I'm hoping that down here, uh, where the coil spring used to be, will be big enough uh, in all situations, and that's something we'll have to look at when we go to place our ears on that tube, uh, that we place them so that as that thing swings back and forth as the, artic as the suspension articulates, that it doesn't hit either side. Uh, and if we have to, we can open one, one, it up a little bit, um, but I, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll go ahead and address that here in a minute. Uh, I know that when we put our, our towers in up there, we want to kind of make them so they're going in towards the engine. Uh, but I don't want to go in so far that we can't get the engine out, so that's something you always have to keep in mind too. Um, 
so so we, we want to go in towards the engine so we can get it, keep them at that angle so that uh, so that in in this state it's not hitting on the outside uh, and then and then in the extended state they're not hitting on the inside because that, because that's what what it'll be so uh, it looks really good but but we're gonna have to be very mindful of that when we uh, go to do it so I'm gonna just go ahead and lift this side up uh, and I'll get it flat and we'll lower the car down and we'll look at what we got to do Okay, so we got it up. Uh, I, have a, I have a plan of attack, uh, but the very first thing uh, I'm gonna do, well, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all this stuff off. So now I need to reference, I know I need to be four inches up to center from here. Um, so that means that uh, I, I needed to know from he, uh, from another location to there how, what that was, and it's two and a half inches from this surface to here. So I'm like, okay, so I, I have that now. This is center line of the axle, uh, which is cool, but that's going to go away when I cut it off. So now I need to, I need, I'm going to need to reference uh, a point from each side wh where center of the axle is again, uh, so I can take a measurement, write it down, uh, and then when we put our ears on, we can kind of make it uh, go back to that, because uh, that, that that'll put our that'll put our coilover kind of straight up and down uh, from it. Um, so so that's my plan. Uh, we're going to get rid of all these lines. I'm going to take them all off uh, and just get rid of them. Um, I'm going to. This is how our axle is hanging right now. So I am going to have to come up with something different. I think I'm just going to put it on stands uh, down there for now. Uh, and then and then when we go to lift the car back up, we'll have to come up with some sort of rigging to get it back uh, up again. Um, so that's my plan. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything off this thing uh, and, and get these off and the lines off and everything out of our way and clean this all up. Uh, and so now that I know that to our ear from here, uh, this was four, so now that now it's going to be six and a half to the center of our ear. So uh, I, I know that now. So as long as I write down our center, uh, and and then we're gonna we're gonna figure out. We don't know exactly where we're gonna be this way. We'll figure that out once this is all cleaned up, so we can get that thing everything right through the center of that hole, uh, just perfectly. So uh, cool. I'm gonna start cutting this stuff up. All right, here's what I came up with. Uh, it, so it's just a, a two inch quarter wall tubes coming up at, thir they're coming up 30 degrees. Uh, that miter here is a little greater than 30 degrees because the frames are going down. Uh, but, but they're coming up 30 degrees, going into a two by three uh, quarter wall. Uh, rec tube uh, and then all this once I weld it it should all flow together you should and, and if I grind it real good you won't even be able to tell where one starts and one ends so uh, that's my plan on that so I did it differently I, originally I was gonna have this angle and the ears were gonna be off the bottom this would be taller uh, to save us having to make it so tall and also be able to get the bolt in and out when the ears are underneath it uh, which I would have had to make this quite a bit wider to do that uh, I just decided to come off the side with the ear um, and and you and have it point Pointing down uh, the ear down so it should fit uh, I have a piece of uh, exhaust tubing here to simulate clearance for clearances and stuff and uh, and, and that all seems to clear pretty good uh, I, I think we should be good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and weld these up I got them made for both sides I'm gonna weld them all up uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do some weld prep since we're right on the edge of our plate on the inside I'm gonna weld prep it there I'll probably clip the toes off uh, of the of the of the miters uh, and then and then and then we'll position this thing find our center uh, weld it on we'll, we'll level the car out first so we can make sure this thing's level uh, so that we can get both sides exact same uh, and then and then we'll get them tacked on there and weld them on and then we may come up with some sort of a, bra a brace in here uh, since this is going to try to turn this way so so we may come up with some sort of a brace in here just just to tie this together uh, uh, a little bit so and that could be something as simple as uh as just a flat bar going f across there and down and then we'll we'll plug the welds weld the ends in uh or, or something like that so we'll, we'll see we'll see what we do since there's not much space there um in the end it's probably okay but if this were to fail it would fail from that at that weld right there uh most likely 
um, that would be where it would uh, fail. So uh, if we can keep that from happening, we will. So anyway, I'm going to get welding, and then uh, we will see you in a bit when we go to put this thing on there. This, this thing will be all welded and cleaned up. All right, so I got it all welded and cleaned up. Uh, I got the car level, and now I'm now I'm just going to level the arms on. Uh, and then I and then I did a visual check one more time, and I decided to end up tipping them in about a degree and a half uh, after after everything, uh, just just to make sure that uh, the it clears in the fully compressed state. Uh, it looked like it was going to start getting real close to the outside on the bottom there. So uh, anyway, stay tuned, and we we got the we'll we'll get into the bottom bottom ears here next. All right, so I got, I got the car finally back up in the air. Uh, I got the the axle on stands, and and there's our lower ears, and I just got our spacer tube in. Uh, I'm spacing them to about one and nine sixteenths, so that we have a sixteenth of place, so that we can uh, get make sure we get the shock in there before we uh, before they squeeze together. Um, so anyway, so I lined everything up. It looks like it's going to be real good. It's it's looking just like how I planned. So uh, we'll see. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get those ears up, going perfectly straight up and down with where it's sitting, uh, and th and then we'll we'll go ahead and just weld them on there and check the fit. All right. So there it is, and it, that that is flexed basically as far as it possibly ever could go. Uh, fully extended on one side and fully retracted on the other. So uh, anyway, so we did that so that we could check clearance. Uh, and so I, I hooked the chain hoists to the bolts so that uh, they would simulate the center line of our of our coilover. So so now when we look, we knew I knew we were gonna be close here. Uh, it was my biggest holdup on this whole thing was was how close we were gonna be there. But we actually have clearance about an eighth of an inch. So uh, and that and again this is worst case so that and that's okay. It only gets better from there. It's not always eighth inch. It's just eighth inch in this fully articulated uh, position. So we have clearance there so that's not a concern. Uh, there we have our arch from this side. So um, building those things out of square tube is is a lot of work for really what you're getting. Um, so you know if you have if you're gonna buy material to make those uh, and you don't have a tubing bender, I would just buy some arches uh, from uh, you know from somebody uh, online and have them shipped to you uh, out of tubing. Uh, they're It'll be about the same strength, you know. This this is so robust, but it's it's way more robust than the frame could even handle. So it's not the weak point, uh, but it's just way heavier duty than it really needs to be. Uh, so any anyway, so they're they're cool. I like them. I want this thing to be like a, ready for the apocalypse. So I'm not complaining about that. But uh, it, it is. I did do it the the very hard way. I mean that's like, like the hard way of doing it. Uh, it. And it took quite a bit of time and a, a lot of welding and a lot of grinding. Uh, to do it that way. So uh, next episode is going to be the brace that goes across the top. Uh, it's going to be removable. It's going to brace those two tops together uh, and it will be built out of two inch square tubing as well, but it's, it's not going to be as heavy. It doesn't need to be that heavy. Uh, it'll probably be eighth wall tubing. So on the fully compressed side, uh, this, is, this is our close area and this area here is too close that uh, closer than I want it to be so I am going to massage this out a little bit I'm not gonna grind it I'm just gonna kind of bend it out uh, right now it's basically like would would touch it uh, and rub on it um, in the, only in this situation as it goes down it gets farther away but um, so I'm just gonna move it so it doesn't touch it ever uh, and and I'm just gonna bend that back and, and I'm gonna try to do it in a manner so it doesn't look like I bent it back because this actually does add a lot of strength to the frame so I really don't want to I, I don't want to cut it off or grind it back so I, I'm just gonna bend it back a little bit um, and, and that should be good so anyway so yeah that thing is super cool looking uh, I cannot wait to get this thing out on a trail and do some videos on trails um, it, it's gonna be just a blast so uh, we got headers coming and stuff so we're gonna start getting into that uh, soon uh, I still have not heard back from our hydro boost guy so the master cylinder and all our fittings so we can finish it uh, I'm starting to get really frustrated with that guy um, I, I you, you know at, at this point now uh, 
I, I highly doubt I'll ever use him again. Just, just you know, he can't be doing treating people like that. Um, and, and you know, I'm not, I'm not going to recommend him. So uh, I'm going to let him try to fix the, save the sale. Uh, but he already has my money, so, so we will see. Uh, that, but that, that is kind of frustrating. I don't know, I don't know if that's how he normally runs his business or what. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We will see you uh, next week uh, with the, with our tower brace. And then uh, I really wanted to start doing brake lines and we may start uh just down here on start doing the axles and stuff next week getting getting the brake lines and stuff on the axles and ran up the control arms and stuff since we have everything to do that so uh anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time